Highs tomorrow are going to jump back toward the upper 80s. So with the hot weather in place the next couple of days, not a bad idea to, if you take the pup for a walk, do so in the morning when the sun angle is not as high, the temperatures are a little cooler. We'll have a lot of sunshine around tomorrow. So during the afternoon hours, especially as we heat up between about uh, upper 80s, close to 90 degrees, those concrete and asphalt temperatures can rise quite a bit to where it can burn your pup's paws. The seven second rule, what you want to do if you can't keep your own foot on the surface for seven seconds, it's certainly too hot for your pups. Uh, you want to make sure you don't burn their paws and also make sure you're checking the back seats of your vehicles when exiting those temperatures in a vehicle can heat up quickly as well. Now, we still have high pressure in control for the eastern U.S. You can see all of the stormy weather where the clouds have been into the central and western part of the U.S., that trend continues for a few more days. Little movement from where this area of high pressure is setting up. I am watching a push of some cooler air that will come in from the north, and that's going to arrive as we get into the weekend. Between then and now, decent amount of sunshine again tomorrow, predominantly sunny skies, and that means very high UV index exposure. Sunscreen is a must if you're spending time outdoors and going to be in the sun tomorrow, and I expect a lot of people will be trying to cool down by a pool again. Now, temperatures will drop into the 50s again tonight for tomorrow through the day, rising already into the 80s by noon and highs upper 80s across the valley. What I'm looking for on the map, maybe a few clouds around, but I expect it to be few and far between here. For tomorrow evening, just as nice, comfortable again overnight. We'll drop down to the upper 50s to start your Friday as we get into Friday afternoon. Again, a few more clouds around, but still more sun than clouds overall, what I'm expecting. And highs Friday right around 90 degrees, a hot end to the week for Saturday, keeping an eye on this frontal boundary that pushes through. And notice how we're still seeing very few showers showing up, but that chance is there during the afternoon that we could see a couple of raindrops around the valley. That, of course, would be a big feat for us as we're in our 11th dry day in a row. But when we get to Sunday, that storm system exits and we're back to the sunny skies to end the weekend. But temperatures a little different. 55 degrees, clear and starry and quiet overnight tomorrow. Yeah, those temperatures rising fast to upper 80s for the afternoon. Lots of sunshine once again. And that seven-day outlook Friday, still pretty sunny. Saturday, calling it partly sunny. We'll see a few more clouds around with 86 degrees the high and keeping an eye out for a shower trying to pop up there. And then we drop into the 70s, which is close to normal for us. Normal highs are between about 75 to 77 through this stretch. So it's still comfortable. It's not as hot. And uh, we'll see more sunshine next week. Not a whole lot of rain in that extended outlook.